from the deadlift for dude competition. We still have a ton of things to get done, tasks to complete, warehouses to clean. And also, I think my drone is finally back. If you didn't know it, uh, I broke my drone again. So let's go get that. start on warehouse duties we are at the bank to make some money moves like cardi b i have to make a wire transfer for everford apparel that's the clothing and then i have to open a separate bank account for project xx because i want to organize my finances a lot better with this new company than i have uh with my other companies because every single year i'm like i'm gonna do better and then every single year i'm like i didn't do any better so just to give you an idea my total initial investment for this new project is going to be fifty thousand dollars into a new account uh total cost will be around probably close to 40,000 and it, it just, add, things add up. Like you don't think it's gonna cost that much to start like a new product, a new business. Uh, it does because you have the manufacturing costs, you have like the packaging costs, you have the distribution costs, you have the marketing costs, you have making a website, making the graphics, uh, making sure that uh, your packaging is all up to spec with lawyers. Then you have like trademark attorneys. It, it just adds up a lot, but when you believe in the product, when you know it's gonna take over the world and you know that you guys are gonna love it, I'm willing to go all in. So we're gonna move some money around and then we're gonna continue on with just this beautiful Texas day. Man, Texas weather sucks, guys, it just sucks. By the way, during that cleaning montage, you might be like, Max, there looks to be a little bit of boxes in the way for your event. Is that gonna affect people getting in there? <laughs> no, guys, there's not even that many. Right, so the event is coming together so spectacularly. Spectacularly. Spec it's spectacularly. That's what I said, it's spectacularly. Right? <laughs> I'm not trying to say spectacularly. There's no R, spectacularly. Spectacularly. <laughs> uh, okay, well, you know, you don't come to my channel for my knowledge. Here in my garage, Lamborghini. We're gonna have about 200 people in this warehouse. It's gonna be good. We just had to get the mats a little bit later today. Uh, we have to organize all of the speaker wires so it just looks so nice. We got everything swept. It's just so clean in here. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling ready for the event. Let me give you guys a little taste. Hold on, Joe, check us out. Give me the mic, dude. I wanna yell at it. What is going? Oh, it wasn't on. What is going on, guys? Welcome to Deadlifts for Dude Wolf! Thank you all for coming out. Have a great time. Everyone's gonna lift all the way. It's gonna be so sick. Uh, we have to go hit our final work workout with Sholly. Gonna hit some squats, gonna hit some deadlifts. And if I hit this kickflip first try, I'm gonna smash thumbs up button. Wow, lots of pressure. I could have refilmed this clip if you guys weren't in here, but that's all right. Ah! I landed it! Nailed it! First try! Oh, then I can put that first try Batman clip. Dude, shut up, dude. Ow. Wham. First try.
450 to do that one. 455 would be easier and look cooler, but I want 450. Oh, shit, no, I'll do 455, dude, whatever, man. You always get in this mindset where you're like, oh, it's just five more pounds. If you can do four, 450, you can do 455. You can, you can just say that forever. If I can do 455, might as well do 460. If I do 460, might as well do 465. If I do 465, might as well do 470. You see where I'm going with this? 455. Let's do it. That was supposed to be an RP7, definitely went a little too heavy, but this is my last workout before we have our event. So after the squat, I have a little bit of back off, and then we have deadlifts get up to 585. The reason you deload right before is you want to be as fresh as you can. And like the week of a power to meet, or the week of my deadlifting to meet, like I'm not gonna get any stronger. So trying to like lift like a day before, two days before, it's gonna be detrimental to your gains. So we hit, hit some heavy lifts, Monday, Tuesday, and then we take a break, play some Fortnite, you know? Let's go to deadlifts. What's up, dude? Top single, 585 pounds, which is less than my opener. I believe we're gonna start at about 600. My second attempt will still not be a PR. I originally thought, my mindset going into the meet, I was like, maybe I should open at six. Make my second attempt like a five pound PR just so I guarantee something and then just YOLO. But you gotta listen to the man upstairs. And that's Brett Gibbs. Uh, and he says, we're gonna open at six. Second attempt is still gonna be less than my PR, around 620, and then we're gonna target around 645. And then he put on there like, if if the meat will allow it, go ahead and try for a fourth attempt in YOLO. But I really think between 640 and 650, I'm confident in it. Um, I mean, at this point, it's it all comes down to whether the moon and the sun and the stars are shining on the on the on the hitting off the beam in the in the warehouse, and it just shines a light on me, and I'm blessed to hit a sick PR. I can't believe, guys. All you do is stand up. You just hold the bar and you stand up. It ain't that hard. 585, here we go. White light, white light, white light, woo! We're gonna crush it, guys. Come on, dude. Come on. No, no. Rat dog. Rat dog. Let's go home, dude. Let's go. You just basking in the wind over there? Let's go, dude. You're a backseat rider now, dude. Safety first. Harness is coming soon. How you doing back there, dude? You feeling safe? Woof woof, bark bark. Let's go see what your friend the giraffe is doing because I am hungry. Uh -huh. Hey, dude. Hi, oh, Flo. Ready for some food? Dinner? Hi, yeah? Flo. Dinner? Hi, Dinner? Ah! Ah! Oh, hi, Bog. Dinner? Yeah, dinner. Dude, what do you think dude does when we're gone? Ah! Parties. Ah! He likes to party. Is this thing on? All right. Be a good boy, dude. I gotta leave all the lights on so we can see what you do. Okay. Goodbye. Now eat your food. Eat your food. Hey, stay. Bye. Say bye, one dog.
Oh, dude, it's still recording. It's still recording. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Were you, were you watching the Meg loading screen? Hello. 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 All right, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you could take two seconds out of your day and just smash thumbs up button, uh, it really does help the channel. I think, I have no idea, but I wanted to circle back. Uh, well, actually, I wanna, I, I'm, the next video is gonna be the Deadlifts for Dude recap. I'm super excited about it, I'm super nervous about it, I'm super stressed out about it, but um, you know, we've done all that we can do. I think everyone's gonna have a fantastic time. I think Dude's just gonna have a great time meeting everyone, right, dude? Woof, woof, bark, bark, okay? And um, my head's gonna be all over the place and I'm competing in it, so we're just gonna go out there, we're gonna try to do our best, but I wanna circle back to investing into this new company. Um, I'm not telling you guys what it is yet. Uh, like I said, I'm spending tons of time on it and now I'm investing a lot of money into it and investing money into a new company, starting something new is very, very scary because you don't know if it's going to do well, right? Because the, you could be like, hey guys, here's the new thing and everyone's like, you suck, I hate it. And you're like, ah, right? And whether it be the amount of money that I invested or you're starting a new clothing line, you're investing $200, $500, just, you know, you're investing a portion of of your livelihood into something that you believe in and you don't know how it's gonna be perceived is a very scary thing. But I have the mentality that I can't fail I, and that's I think what y'all should have as well. <laughs> y'all, here in Texas, yeehaw! But if you believe in something and you have a passion for something, then hopefully that energy is pushed out into the world and pushed to the consumer and you wanna convince them why they should be passionate about what you're passionate about. And hopefully um, I've done that with Ever Forward. Uh, I try to keep everything just like very transparent with you guys. I try to show you the entire process as much as I can and uh, I think you're absolutely gonna love it. So I'm willing to take a risk. I'm willing to bet on myself and I'm going all in on this thing, so I can't wait for you to see what it is. Thank you for watching this video. Believe in yourself, invest in yourself, have a passion for the things that you care about or the services or products that you wanna put out into the world, and ever forward. And, and, and dude. Goodbye. Goodbye.